Dr. Joe Feuerstein with the MD Minute. Thanks for tuning in and today I want to talk about a quick MD Minute of a study published in a very well-known European journal called Thorax which was published by French researchers and was looking at the link between cured meat, that's salami and ham, all those processed meats and asthma, risk of developing asthma. So let's big picture this for a second. Um, we have for thousands of years found it necessary to try and preserve meat. And the way that mankind has done that over the ages is by curing it. You do it with processing it, essentially with things like salt or with uh, nitrites. And these are all things that help preserve the meat for a long time. But there's a lot of research. The World Health Organization in 2015 actually came out with a statement saying that processed cured meats increases risk of cancer because it has carcinogens in it. So this is obviously something that we have to be careful about. And as we get close to the a holiday period, you want to think about what you're eating. So this French study looked at the link between eating cured meat, such as salami, such as ham, and eating it four times or more a week, and the risk of developing asthma. And they were looking at this in nearly a thousand asthmatics over a very long period of up to 20 years. And what they found is compared to the people who ate the least amount of meat, cured meat. The ones who had cured meat, the salami and the ham, more than or equal to four times a week, had a 70% increased risk of developing worsening asthma. The theory is that within the meat are these nitrites, which are used to cure the meat. They are potentially an inflammatory um, Pro, uh, product and if you're eating them you're going to have worse inflammation. So my take on this is that this is just another reason why cured meat is not a food we should be putting a lot of emphasis and stress in. It is potentially carcinogen and obviously now seems to be worsening asthma and inflammation. Dr. Joe Feuerstein, happy holidays, the MD Minute. Thanks so much.